This gearbox is not like any other. It's made with square gears. And while it may look simple, there were actually some very clever design decisions that I had to make in order to get it working. But is it possible to use square gears to make a gear reduction similar to my other gearbox designs? In this video, we'll see if we can get the square gearbox to work as a gear reduction. But why would anyone use square gears? Square gears provide yet another way to produce varying output speed. The gear ratio of these gears is constantly changing. If I rotate the gear on the right, the system is actually a gear reduction. It kind of works like a lever. The left side is longer than the right side, so we have a reduction. When I rotate the gear further, the relationship switches. Now the speed increases for the second gear. This side's longer and this side is shorter. However, the overall gear ratio of this system is still technically one to one with slight speed variations. In other words, square gears are about as practical as this square watermelon. It's also possible to make a square one to one gear train just like this. So how can we create compound gears that aren't one to one? I'll tell you the secret. The secret is by using triangles. So here we have the compound gears. On one side, it's a square, and on the other side, it's a triangle. If I draw two lines on the gears, we could spin the gears and calculate the gear ratio. If we spin the green gear three times, the white gear will spin four times. This gives us a gear ratio of one to 1.3. Now that we know that the gears work, I assembled everything into a compound gear reduction gearbox. I have two tricks that I use to print faster. One is I use a bigger nozzle, and the other is I use multiple 3D printers. And if you end up getting into 3D printing, just know that buying 3D printers can get very addicting. Instead of 3D printing the entire base of the gearbox, I 3D printed this test piece to test the spacing between the gears. This spacing appears to be okay, maybe a little bit close, so I'll make some minor adjustments and 3D print the base. All right, now let's see if we get this square gearbox set up as a gear reduction to actually work. Okay, something's not right. It looks like I did not get the teeth aligned properly. Let's try this again. So this may not be the smoothest running gearbox, but what can you expect? It's made of squares. I'm mostly impressed that this is even remotely possible. I never would have thought that combining squares with triangles could make this work. I'll be selling this exact gearbox that I used in this YouTube video on my website. I sell them as collector's pieces and they usually go extremely fast. It's almost like investing in NFTs, except instead of only getting something digital, you actually get a physical object. And best of all, you don't have to worry about the cryptocurrency bubble bursting. Thanks for watching and happy printing. You can support this channel on Patreon, link in the description below.